Okay guys, so we have a Drayton Wiser thermostat that I've just wired up to the spoiler. It's a Wiser thermostat kit one, as you can see. It's a combi boiler that is connected to. Uh, customers provided me this brand new kit and asked me to connect it to their boiler that I've relocated in their property. Uh, currently it's not connected into a fuse spur because uh, the property is going through a full rewire. So we've just connected it through a three pin plug. But after wiring the thermostat, let's create a demand. So yeah, there is a demand from the thermostat. The hub or receivers reacted to it as you can see. There's no internet, so that's why that setup light is flashing. But as you can see, this heat light or heating light that's on, which means that thermostat is calling for heat and the boiler should be on. But the boiler's got no demand on it. As you can see, it's a Worcester boiler and it's got no demand whatsoever. Let's just turn this off. Let's see if it's going to communicate to the receiver. Yep, you heard the click possibly. So as soon as we go down, the heating light's gone. Let's put the heating light back on. Yep, so heating light's back on, as you can see. Now, the problem we've got is that it's not turning the boiler on. So the very first thing is that there is a possibility that I may have not wired it correctly. Okay, so that's the very first thing that we need to check. Uh, on the boiler, I'll just show you how it's wired. So as you can see, on the white connector, we've got five points. So we've got earth from left to right, earth, main live coming in, so that's a brown cable, main neutral coming in, so that's a blue cable. Then we have 230 out, so that's a gray cable. So just remember that we've got 230 out as gray. And then we've got LR, which is live return for heating, and that's a black cable. The white cable that you see, that's a loop for the heating for the hot water circuit sorry so for the heating we've got gray going to the thermostat to the receiver to the hub and then blacks coming back from it okay so it's a 230 volt contact so we're using it as 230 so gray is taking 230 there and then black should be returning that 230 back and boiler should fire up but when we create a demand and there is a demand on this thermostat as you can see it's not making that contact the relay is clicking, we can hear the relay clicking, but it's not bringing 230 back on this black cable, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put my phone on phone holder and I'm gonna do some testing and I'll explain it to you what I'm testing, how I'm testing it, and how to get to the bottom of it, okay? It's a brand new kit and once you've installed it and it's not working, uh, you may start to doubt yourself that you may have not wired it up correctly. So obviously that's the that's the first thing you want to check. But if you've tested that, there is a possibility that we have uh, a faulty thermostat, a faulty receiver base, or hub, whatever they want to call it, uh, out of the box. Okay, so we just need to carry out some testing to prove that. So let me just put you back in the cradle and I'll do some testing. Okay, so the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to isolate it safely because I'm going to remove the front cover of this thermostat here, okay? So that's the first thing I want, I want to do. Let's see. Okay, so now that the cover's removed, I don't know what you can see, if you can make out there is a diagram on it and I'll try to explain it to you. Um, if you can see, it's starting from left to right. So we have neutral, so that's main neutral, main live. Then we have number one, which is common. It doesn't say common on it, but I can see that it's got a connection going from it, which is currently connected to, or I should say, uh, is normally closed to number two, but number two says off underneath it. And number three says on and according to diagram we need number one and number three okay so that's what we need to wire it as that's exactly what we've done so we've got in the base itself i'll try to take you slightly closer to it so you can see so we've got neutral on the left live next to it gray in number one and black in number three 
Okay, so with grey, remember, it's bringing 230 from the board. It's bringing 230 to the receiver. And then black should be taking that 230 volt signal back to the boiler. Okay, so what we're going to do, the very first thing I would like to do is I need to check whether the power's coming to it. Power's definitely coming to it. Okay, that's, where, that's why the lights were on. But I just want to make sure that all the power's there. Uh, I'm just using simple voltage indicators for that. So I'm just going to power it up. Okay. I can hear the boiler because boiler is looped through live and neutral uh, from there as well. Okay, so the very first thing I want to do is I want to check my main live and neutral at this stage. Okay, so neutral, live. I've got 230 volt. I'm not sure whether you can see the tester, but it shows 230. I'm going to also check live and earth just so I can confirm the polarity and I'm going to check neutral and earth which is just a continuous tone okay so when we're checking for supply we, when we check between live and neutral and we get 230 yes it tells us that between these two this 230 volts come in but it doesn't confirm which one is live and which one's neutral and you could have cross polarity so one thing you can do is you can check neutral and live earth and life so neutral and life should give you 230 earth and life should give you 230 and neutral and earth shouldn't give you anything so that confirms that live is actually the live on here okay so it doesn't have cross polarity what i would like to check next is that this gray that should be bringing 230 to this point to number one whether it's bringing 230 volts or not so i'm going to check gray against neutral so neutral and gray so yes it's bringing 230 volts to this point now when we have the receiver connected to it and when we have demand and the green light the heating light shows on it that should then literally connect that gray to black one to three that should be a contact which was normally open now we created the demand so it will become close contact and black should take that 230 volts back to the boiler okay so that's what I should do what I want to do is I want to isolate it again and now to eliminate the thermostat I'm going to join grey and black together okay so let's just connect I've isolated it safely I'm going to connect black and grey so I'm basically creating a loop if it makes sense It doesn't matter which one you shift, but as far as you have black and grey in one connector, then you basically created a loop. Now, that's what it looks like. So we have neutral and live come in, and then literally grey and black in the same connector. The reason I've done it is because I want to make sure that there's nothing wrong with the boiler, okay? So what we're going to do next is I'm just going to turn the power back on, boilers on, and let's see if the screen shows us demand. So boilers currently just going through its initial sequence. Okay, blue light, we have demand, radiator symbol, and there you go. Boil is fired up, I'm not sure whether you can see the flame symbol in the top corner, where you will see temperature rising. There we are. So, that means that the boiler is perfectly fine, there's nothing wrong with the boiler, but the thermostat, a brand new thermostat that we wired up, that's faulty okay it's not working as it should uh it's definitely wired incorrectly uh but it does happen uh if you couldn't make out the diagram when i showed you earlier 
it's on this piece of paper as well it may be slightly simpler to understand on it here it's a single channel receiver from left to right we have neutral and light so that's main live and neutral going to the receiver number one on here it says common as you can see uh, so that's where our gray is connected coming from the PCB bringing 230 to number one and then number two is just off we don't need that function number three is on so li we literally need to bring a cable to number one and take it back from number three okay so the loop that's removed from the boiler just literally comes to number one and number three uh, so that's how you wire it up another way of wiring it might be that if you only have one cable going back then you can just literally put a loop between live which is main live to number one okay so now instead of bringing gray cable that's bringing live from the pcb you can just provide it from here by just putting a loop there and you can take one cable back from number three back to the pcb and that will work as well okay but yeah so that's what that's what the problem is on this one here everything's working uh fine on the boiler the relay is clicking i can hear the relay clicking on this thing uh but it's not making contact so we just need to get in touch with Drayton and see if they can send another one out or they're going to send customer back to where, where it was purchased from. I think they come with 18 months warranty and if I look at the thermostat itself, sometime it gives you the manufacturing date uh, or year and this was manufactured, this WP21, so it was actually manufactured in 2021. So it may have a shelf life, customer may have purchased it recently, so I just need to check that with them and they may be able to get a replacement. But it's brand new, out of the box, faulty. Okay guys, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to drop me a line in, in the comment section below uh, about wiring, uh, about boilers, um, or if you have come across this fault, please do let me know um, and we'll take it from there. Thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to the video or channel. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye for now.